Rip, Guts, Pain, Scream. Those are the words on the Death Metal Distortion FX86B from DoD. Rip, Guts, Pain, Scream. It also says, you know, level, low, mid, high. Wow, convenient if you don't know exactly what Rip, Guts, Pain, Scream mean. Uh, that's Rip for Rest in pieces so the death metal distortion pedal is a uh distortion pedal i got it was one of my first noise pedals and this is the one that everyone recommended to me everyone was like you gotta get this pedal this is the crucial pedal this is the essential pedal for making harsh noise music so i got one i got it for about um 80 bucks used total and I know the price on these fluctuate and older ones are more expensive. I don't know all the details about all the different models, but uh, this is one of the relatively newer ones. Uh, but it is fantastic and there is a reason it is a mainstay in a lot of noise setups. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the demo though. Let's give it some power. And now one of my goals here, setting out doing gear review videos, is to review pedals and gear without guitars. Because I couldn't find a lot of reviews that weren't people plugging this in and playing like ACDC and like Slayer riffs. And a lot of other pedals out there it's just like the same dad blues lick riff over and over and over. So we're going to be using some different instruments. Uh, the first thing we're going to test out is a contact microphone from Crank Sturgeon. And uh, we're just going to test this out real quick so you all can see what it sounds like. First, sounding it clean. Uh, hold on, let me adjust my mixer. We're going to sound it clean real quick. And then let's put on some distortion. I think that's pretty good. Uh, it adds a really great textural tone to contact microphones. It adds it adds that harsh texture. Like I'm, you saw what I'm doing. This is just a basic ass table. You could recreate this yourself really easily. Uh, I'm gonna try out something a little different though. I'm going to use a homemade shaker box. Now this is just a uh, copper box filled with scrap metal and a contact microphone. I make these and I sell these, uh, but hit me up if you want one. Um, let's plug it in.
So one thing I like about this pedal, one thing I like about this pedal is you can really control the kind of like the the temperature and the tone of the sound with your uh, guts, pain and scream, your low, mid and high knobs. You can really pull out that like... You can really pull that sound out. Really captures the sound of the metal really well. Uh, this is all copper scrap metal with a little piece of silver inside. Uh, silver's for luck. But the uh, death metal distortion, it really... I'm able to, it sounds like a scream, I'm able to pull out a lot of textures out of it and a lot of uh, grittiness out of it that other distortion pedals just don't have. Now, it also works really well for uh, vocals when you have a contact microphone and a piece of metal. Uh, let's try it with a contact microphone and a piece of metal. We all know it's going to work with this, but let's, uh, let's try something else. With a regular contact mic and a piece of metal. This is something you could do at home. So you see, I can really uh, create a lot of diverse sounds with different uh, microphone instruments as well as with the different EQ settings on the death metal distortion. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and run a synthesizer through it, see how that sounds. Now this is a noise synthesizer from uh, Sele Official, cybergrunge.net, uh, my favorite synth maker. Now this is a drone synth, it's got a bunch of stuff, I'll talk about it in another review, but it's got a few oscillators and it drones. Let's run it through our distortion. See, I find this synthesizer to be sometimes kind of quiet and sometimes soft, and it has these soft edges to the sound. And sometimes this synthesizer is very, very quiet, which is something that isn't great. But the gain and the distortion in this really bring out those small synth sounds. So let's have a listen. Hear how it sounds quiet as shit right now? Yeah, boost it right up. And you can hear that without the distortion, this synthesizer is kind of all over the place, volume wise. But 
the distortion in this really brings out like if you have experimental synthesizers if you're making your own circuits if you have circuit bent stuff this is great for it because it really pulls out all those weird sounds that you get from experimental equipment that might not you know your circuitry might not be connected perfect so sometimes it's quiet sometimes it's soft sometimes it's weird this really pulls it out <laughs> So I think you get the idea with that. What else can we plug in through this that will sound cool? Let's go ahead and plug in some uh, the Cunt. Now the Cunt is from Gen Thals. I'll be doing a review of this in a different video, but I just want to use it for the uh, purpose of this death metal distortion. This is a this is a noise synthesizer. It makes a lot of horrible noise. Um, we're gonna try it out with the death metal distortion. So you see, it really changes the tone of, uh, there's like a noise, sit, there's a noise oscillator, a few like uh, square wave oscillators in this. It really changes the tone and texture of those a lot. <laughs> It really gives it a punch. It really gives it that like massive, gnarly punch. <laughs> that about covers it. I did some microphones and some synthesizers. No guitars. No guitars in sight. That is the Death Metal Distortion FX86B. Thank you. Don't forget. Don't forget. This is my first video, so I almost forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah.